Hey, this is John Reed here at Lake Geneva Tennis with star student Lexi. Uh, we'll just do a couple drills here. You can do these drills with anyone from uh, world-class players to future world-class players. So uh, we'll start off with a little receiving drill here. Uh, people ask me all the time what kind of balls we should use when someone isn't necessarily a professional yet. We have to get them used to receiving skills with all different kinds of balls. So um, Lexi, if you'll stand right here, really good ready position, and let's just work on catching it. So she wants to let them bounce, that way she can really start to uh, understand all the different balls. I'm using a red ball, an orange ball, a foam ball, a green dot ball. So she has to recognize which one I'm throwing and how that has a different, go get it, go get it. Run, 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 run. Come back, come back, come back, let's go next one. She has to understand how the balls have different speeds and different spins and they weigh different. So she gets used to that. Good, better. Good, stay ready. Good. Good. Great hand eye coordination. And the child really works on receiving the ball well. Good job. Obviously, you can increase the challenge as they get better, as they get quicker. Good. And again, I'm using orange balls, green dot balls, red balls, foam ball. Uh, as they get better, grab your racket legs. Really good. Good job. And I'll use again, I'll use all of them, really understanding that all of them are tennis, right? So the, the ball weight changes and the speed changes and the spin changes, um, but still the ball can only bounce how many times? Once, no matter, you know, no matter what, what ball we're using. Force them to use a continental grip here, looks good, ready position. And she's going to hit it really soft, and I'll just change the ball whenever I feel like it, so she can start to recognize the difference in all the weights. Good, good. Feed. I grab a new ball. Good work, good work, good work. Here, good, good job. Good one, good one, good one. Continental grip, nice job. Start to work on your split step and go. Good one, nice job. Back to the foam ball. Go get it. Good one, good. React. Excellent. Good, what ball's that? Oh, could you hear which one that was? Could you hear it? Which one? The real one, that's right, a little bit heavier. Good work, good work, good work. Nice, go with the red one, all right, good job. Good, there's the foam one, the foam one, that one up. That's it, good work. Back to the red one. Nice job. Orange, one of her favorites. She's got it, good. Ooh, which one's that? Yup, oh good, a little bit heavier. Beautiful, Lex. Nice job. Let's go, go get it, go get that one. Nice. So, they start to really feel comfortable with all the balls, knowing that their continental grip, get their ready position. Good. Go. She has a continental grip for each ball. That doesn't change. And if it bounces, she has to move for it. That doesn't change. So they get used to different speeds, different spins, real balls, or red balls. Good job. Good work. Good. All right, let's pause that. All right, this next one, I mean, so many different skills in tennis. This is less about receiving skills and now really sending. I want so much racket head speed here, so much racket head speed. So really working on her sending skills, okay? Very different than the drill we just did. So I'm trying to develop, you know, more of kind of that ATP style forehand where she gets really good racket head speed, freeze there. This is really good. So we're really trying to teach her to not have a big backswing, but still a little one and just get that racket head, what do we call it, the, uh, like a snake, just whipping it through, okay? Good, from the legs, get down, good. And I feed it fast, again, so she can't really, doesn't have time to take that big backswing. You can see she has a great follow through, oh, really getting better. Good, fast, good, fast, fast, fast. If they get more advanced, right, right out of the air, don't let it bounce, go. Good one, go. Oh, right out of the air, out of the air. Good, out of the air, out of the air. Good, out of the air, out of the air. Good, so they can really start to let it fly. Um, let's do it now on the move. So Lexi, let's go back here. I'll grab about five or six balls, and I'll just go with the student. Good energy, get ready, and we'll go up together. And as she gets closer, that racket head has to get even faster. Oh, this is pretty good. Good, whip, whip the leg, go. We're going back, we're doing it again, doing it again, nice job. Good energy, I'm not putting an emphasis on where the ball is going. Um, again, because uh, we're not playing a match, so we're developing those skills. 
from the legs. Go. Boom. Good. Get airborne. Get airborne. Whoa. Good one. Good. Get airborne. Excellent. Set up. Go. One more time. I'll meet you back there. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Get ready. Get excited. Really teach the students to love forehand. Nice job. Whip. Good. Load. Good. All the way back here. Let's start right here. And again, we're emphasizing not hitting, but loading. Go ahead like this. Do a practice one. Explode. Get air. That's what I want. Get low. Explode. Yes. Nice job. Pause that. Overheads now, similar to what we did with the forehands. I wanted to work on a lot of racket head speed, so go like this. Getting that arm like a whip, it's going to help with the serve, it's going to help with the overhead. We're thinking long term, long term, right? So we're trying to get the student um, to even to, to understand this is easier, but it's not necessarily better, you know, especially if you're looking for pro tennis in six years, seven years, Paris, right? French Open, okay? So she's just going to do a drill. Um, again, force them into a continental grip, whether they like it or not. Force them into it. She's got a great continental grip. Bounce the ball low and just try to snap it back. Good job. So she's getting used to just feeling that racket. Loose, wiggly, drop a little bit back, low. Good, good, good. Good. Start up a little higher with the racket and then go. Good, and then she's, she's pulling that thing backwards. So she starts to get a feel that it's not pushing, it's whipping. And now, okay, let's try to hit it straight down. Go like this. Oh, good try. Try again. Good. They build a lot of confidence, and you can see we're not trying to hit it over the net even yet. We build confidence. Go ahead. And just developing the skill. Good. Rock it up. Smack it down. Good. Job. That was a really good one. Good. Continental grip. Good, loose arm, go. Good job, Lex. One more. Whip it. Good, nice. So now one on top of my head. I'm Lexi, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, so let's come up to the net. Okay, right here. And what I want her to do now is just to feel the ability. She could snap backwards, she could snap down. And now she's actually snapping up and she's gonna just toss it to herself. Working on that skill. Go ahead. Good job. Good. Loose, loose. Go. There we go. Good, good. You can always do a few with them. Um, that can help them feel it. But it's really important to let the let the student kind of then you know do a lot on their own. Good one. Good. And they want fast racket at speed. Good. That was really nice. Do one without the ball. Let me hear it. Ooh, oh, yes, very nice. And now I'll toss some to her. This will be the last progression here. Ready? Good, rack it up. Go. Very similar to what we did with the forehand. I'm trying to speed it up so she has to really force a lot of energy. Um, so again, we worked on receiving skills with different balls and then the weapon skills, sending, building racket head speed with the forehand and building racket head speed with the overhead and um, a lot more with future star Lexi to come.